Well, this should make for a fun video. I recently purchased a 15 pound bag of silver world coins. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to the channel. Like I said in the intro, I bought a 15 pound bag of silver foreign coins or world coins. Take a look inside it, it looks fantastic. I even saw a Morgan silver dollar or two, I believe. And uh, maybe I'm seeing things, could just be a silver round, I guess. But in this bag, it's supposed to be, I guess overall 14 pounds if you take away some of the capsules and some of the paper. But it came out to just under 15 pounds total as is. And I even see a Canadian mint set because there's the 1967 or 68 Canadian penny there. But yeah, definitely excited to get into this. Some of the stuff is flipped up, some of it's loose. Some of it's in plastic holders. Some of it's in mint sets. I don't know what we got in here. All I know is I bought it by weight and my silver dealer gave me a pretty good deal on it. Typically what he's been doing over the past several years is just cashing in all of the foreign silver at the refinery based on weight and purity. And when I found that out, I asked him, hey, can you at least hold on to it, bag it up for me, and I'll make you a slightly better deal than the refinery. I'll save you a trip to the refinery, and you'll make a little bit more money in the transaction. He said he would do that, so I guess this is over six months worth of foreign coins he's had brought to him that are silver, and yeah, I bought it. Hopefully we get some goodies in here. Hopefully it was worth it. I'm not gonna share how much I paid for it, but I definitely paid quite a bit as you can expect. It is 15 pounds of silver. Obviously some of the silver coins in here could be as low as 50, 72, 80, and 90% range. And that's what we're looking for. All right, I've talked a lot. Let me go ahead and unbag it. I'll dump it out. We'll take a look at it on the mat together. Holy cow, take a look at all of this silver, all of this beautiful foreign silver. Man, this is going to be fun to go through. Holy cow, it looks awesome. Now this may or may not be completed in a one video hunt. I think what I'm going to do is, um, wow, it's a nice coin. I've, I've actually had these Maria uh, Teresa Th One Thaler proof coins before and uh, they're awesome. Uh, but anyway, I think what I'll do first and foremost is just pull out all of the obvious stuff like the Canadian uh, coins and the Mexican coins. I see a lot of these Olympiad coins from Mexico and uh, I'll set them up to the side. And then after I've got the major stuff set aside, like the Teresa Thalers, like the Canadian stuff. And I, here it is. I do have a Morgan silver dollar in 1890. Oh, and it does have the PVC damage to it. But uh, that is a Morgan silver dollar. So somehow that one made it in here. And take a look at this. Holy cow. Beautiful. King George V. Canadian dollar, 1935. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. A lot of Canadian stuff in here. I see Canadian quarters too. Man, I might be able to complete my Canadian quarter collection. All kinds of goodies. We have some loose thalers in here. A lot of these Mexican silvers. I could do this all day with you guys, but uh, but to be uh, fair, I think I'll go through it off camera. I think I look at that. Man, that is beautiful. All right. I could do this all day. Let me go ahead and get some stuff set up aside. I want to see how many Thalers I have, how many these capsulated Canadian or Bermuda coins we have and other things and uh, some of these Mexican coins as well. And I'll bring you guys back in just a moment. An eternity later. All right, I am back with my first sort. This is all the Canadian stuff right here, Canadian dollars and some other countries that have Queen Elizabeth II on them. And then of course we also have this beautiful Canadian 1967 mint set, pretty cool. All this is the Mexico stuff so far. There are more Canadian and Mexico stuff in here, but they're smaller denominations. But yeah, I don't want to go through it all right now. I'm just kind of giving you guys a bird's eye view. Uh, a whole bunch of the pesos, a ton of these 1968 um, Olympiads. We've got some single pesos and we've got some, what is this? Smaller single pesos. These must be uh, 10 pesos. Yeah, Diaz pesos. 
We've got some of these uh, other Cinco Pesos with the Mayan look to them. Very cool. And then we have some of these 78, 77. I think there might be a 77 in there. Maybe I saw things. But either way, we got those. And then we have these um, Monedas, Tres de Platas. Gotta love those. Just a couple of them. Over here is the Thalers. The uh, Maria Teresa Thalers, some of them are in pretty rough shape. I need to make sure they're all restrikes or not. I'm pretty sure they're always restrikes, but definitely got to make sure. Two of them are proofs, a whole bunch of regular ones, and then some that have been toned and worn and probably moved around throughout the years. We've got some beautiful big foreign stuff here, some eight reals. We've got some stuff from uh, Peru, I believe. And then we've got some American coins down here. There are four Morgan silver dollars in there, all pretty much graffiti or PVC damage or polished or just heavily circulated. We even had a couple of terrible Washington quarters and a couple of dimes that were jewelry pieces, a 48 Roosevelt and a 43 Merck dime. That's just the first run through. We still have to go through all of this. This is a lot of the smaller stuff. And a lot of this stuff I need to see if I can add to my current albums, I need or I'm missing some Canadian silver quarters. I'm missing some Canadian silver nickels and some Canadian silver dimes. It'd be nice to get some that fit in the books. And if that happens, of course, I'll show it to you guys. This is round one of the sort. Time to get back to sorting. I'll see you when I get the next round done. One hour later. All right, just another bird's eye view of what we have. I can't go over all the stacks. I believe I've gone through now and only have the Canadian silver nickels, silver dimes, and silver quarters in here. Of course, there could be an oddball country in here as well. Sometimes you flip them around and you find out that it's from Newfoundland or something. But either way, looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, we're still good. We've added a few more U.S. stuff. We added a couple of Barber Dimes in absolutely terrible shape. Another quarter was added. This is the Philippine stuff that we found throughout there. Pretty cool. A lot of Peru stuff. You guys already saw we had some eight reals. We added some four reals and some two reals as well. And then these are beautiful 50 shilling pieces. Absolutely gorgeous. There's two different ones. Um, I forgot what they're from. Man, I don't even remember anymore. I'm not familiar with these. But either way, very cool having a couple of those and some of the 25 shillings as well. Um, we have a quarter Indian rupee, I believe. Yeah, one quarter rupee from India. And I only put these next to the, the Indian coin because I'm not quite sure what these are. And maybe you guys know, but we'll have to figure out what these coins are. They look or appear to have Arabic writing or something like that on them. I'm not quite sure. You guys can let me know. I will try to coinoscope some of these coins as well. Stack here, we've got some uh, uh, German stuff along with some, I guess, Newfoundland stuff and maybe a few other countries represented in here if I can get them stacked back up. All right, some miscellaneous oddballs. I can't really make out the detail. We got some six pence, three pence, uh, some other three pences, some shillings, uh, other miscellaneous countries. We have Newfoundland stuff here, so maybe I'll get that stuff with it. And then we have some other oddballs, Australia and some French stuff. We even had a Hawaiian dime. We even had an 1883 Hawaiian dime. It looks like it was holed at one point and refilled, but that's pretty cool. All right, now that we've covered most of that without running through every single coin, I need to get down through these now and get these sorted by Nickels, dimes, and quarters. Make sure they're all Canadian. And then after I do that, I got to start putting them in your order and check them against my current collection. Let me get them sorted. I'll be back in just a moment. All right. We have got the Canadian silver nickels down here. There's like 14 of them. I didn't count the dimes. Looks like several rolls, maybe at least two rolls worth, maybe more. And then the Canadian silver quarters, at least a roll, probably more than that. So quite a few of these. These ones I am going to now sort first of the nickels and see if I can add any to my personal albums. And I'll do the same thing for the uh, dimes and the quarters. And I'll report back to you when I get all of them done. Maybe I'll show you my Canadian uh, silver nickels, silver dime, and silver quarter albums if I have time. Let me get that done. I'll be back after I have it done. So figured since I finished the Canadian silver nickels, I'd go ahead and show you we only have five left. So I was able to use nine in my album. I'm missing a ton. I've never bought 
uh, in the individual ones of these. I've only found them in junk silver purchases or bulk silver lots like this. So we definitely have some decent dates in here, but we're definitely missing quite a few. Either way, it's a nice start to my Canadian silver nickel album. Now that we finished that, time to move on to this Canadian silver dimes, and that's going to take some times. All right, we finished the Canadian silver dimes. These are the older ones, pre-1934 or whatever, I believe. And then these are all the duplicate ones. We even had a non-silver in there, a 1969 Canadian dime. That's not silver. I was able to add a few more to the books. These are my Canadian dimes going back from obviously being a uh, nickel or whatever, all the way back to the old silver stuff. Only missing a handful of the stuff from 1937 on. And then as we get into the older, older Canadian, King George V and Queen Victoria, we're missing quite a few. But like I said on the nickels, these are all from coin or hunts, coin stars, or junk silver purchases. And I'll take it. We added a few more to the collection and we've got a nice stack here. Now that we finished the Canadian dimes, it's time to move on to the Canadian quarters, see if I can complete more albums or add some more slots to the books. Just finished the Canadian quarters from Queen Elizabeth on forward, and we're only missing a 54, a 53 with the shoulder fold, and then a non-silver 1973 large bust, as well as a non-silver 1989 to complete this book. So pretty good. Now I need to go ahead and get onto the older stuff down here, for the other quarter books to see if we can add some to those. All right, we've officially finished the Canadian silver quarters. That's the extras. Just a quick look at the book. I'm not gonna go through, we're missing a lot of coins, but I did add some and that always makes me happy. Of course, the oldest ones we're missing a ton of. Either way, nice stack of Canadian silver right there. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna quickly go back, see if there's other coins I'd like to spend a little bit more time on to show you guys. All right, we've got all the Canadian stuff done. There's so much to show you guys. Uh, without taking hours to do so, because there's so much, I'm just quickly going to scope or go over or pan over all of the silver that we have here. The American stuff's down here. You guys have seen some of the other stuff I've already shown you. Some stuff from the Philippines, some stuff from Panama. We got lots of different uh, eight reals and four reals and two reals coins. A lot of the uh, Maria Teresa Thalers, the restrikes, did not see any that were not restrikes there. That's the Canadian stuff we just rolled up. Um, what else we got here? You know, I don't know what this is. I got to do a little research on here, but um, obviously you can make out what it's commemorating. Very cool as Mexico. It doesn't say what it's made of. I don't see anything on here saying it's silver, but it's Tony like silver. <laughs> Sounds like silver. I'll have to do a little research on that one. You guys have seen a lot of the uh, 10 pesos, 5 pesos, all of those right there. We got those Olympiad coins. We got some 5 centavos, 10 centavos, 20 centavos, 50 centavos. And then, of course, the un pesos are up there. Uh, and we got the other 50 centavos down here. I guess I should have just mixed those up. But they're a little bit different size because, as you know, silver was a little more valuable back in the day. Whole bunch of Canadian dollars and Canadian half dollars. I still need to go through all these. Man, it's going to take a while. Uh, but uh, that could be for another video. Who knows? Let me know down in the comments if you want to see me go through the rest of the Canadian and the Mexican stuff. That'd be kind of cool. You saw all the stuff down here. I still need to sort out what these are. Well, I know that's a quarter rupee. But I still got to sort out what those are right there. I have no idea. And then we got some cool ship stuff right here. Uh, the $5.00. And we got uh, just some other stuff from San Marino and then a couple of Nederland coins as well from 1995. I don't know if this is a certain set, but anyone li who likes collecting ships, that could be a c cool little lot right there. And then a couple of uh, 1970 and 1972 Bahamian Queen Elizabeth II dollar, dollars, I should say. Not too familiar with those. All right. You guys have seen it all. That's a quick recap of everything. This has been a long video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing all this old silver. You know, I haven't really done an inventory on it to see how much value is here versus what I paid. But looking at it on the table, plus updating some of my books with some lower mintage Canadian nickels, dimes, and quarters, I think I did pretty good. I'll have to find out once I get a total count on this. Before I cut away to the ending, which you're going to get to in just a second, I wanted to show you that it's later on in the day and I've got them all cataloged and up here based on silver content, the type that they are, whether they're Canadian, Mexican, you name it. 
and a few other things. Got a stack of one shillings in here that are all sterling silver, things like that. Uh, what else? Oh, and we have a bunch of stuff in here that I still need to go through and finalize with. But anyway, I did want to show you that I did identify some of these um, Iran. We have an Iran 2000 dinar coin. We have an Iraqi one real coin. So I did get those identified. I think those are two of the ones I didn't know what they were beforehand. And uh, yeah, a few other things. All right, Austrian stuff. I can go on and on. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at these. Now let's get to the ending of the video. If you guys enjoyed this world coin silver foreign hunt, I sure would appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, happy stacking, and thanks for watching.